Okay, so we have an early version of Windows 11 working on Orange Pi 5. Let's show you how to install it using a Windows device. So open up the browser and type in WOR Pi 4. And you can see here Home Windows on R. Get started. And you can see here Rockchip RK3588 how to install. This does also work for the Radaxa Rock 5B and possibly for other RK3588 devices as well. So we need to scroll down and download this image file. So we head to the GitHub. You can see here Orange Pi 5. So I'm just going to save that and I'm going to save it in a folder on the desktop and I'm going to call that folder WOR Pi 5 and open and save. So we can come back to that in a minute. And on this same page, we need to get a Windows image. So you can see here, getting a Windows image. So let's right click and open that in a new tab. And I prefer this one, adguard.net. So select type. Let's go with Windows final version. Select version, Windows 11 version ARM64. So language, what edition you want and download the ISO compiler. Then click on this link here. Close down the advert. And save as, and we'll save that in that WOR Pi 5 folder. And you can see it comes up with an issue. So we're gonna do keep, show more, and keep anyway. So now that's downloaded that folder. Let's close this down and go back to the download section here. Download version 231, or whatever's the latest version at the time. And I'm going to save that also in that same folder. Pi 5. And let's navigate to that folder. So on the desktop, WR Pi 5. We need to extract the WOR tool. So you can see it's here. If we go back up one though, let's just delete this folder, which is a zip file, which we don't need anymore. So we'll come back to the WOR tool in a minute. What we need to do now is create the Windows image. So we want to right click on this multi creating ISO and run as administrator. And yes. And this will take some time. Uh, it's important that you have it in these folder structure that I've shown because it will create the image and loads of folders in there so you can delete them later on the ones that you don't need. Now I turned off the update. So if I hit U and enter and hit enter again. And this does take ages. I don't quite know how long, but I reckon it's probably about an hour or so. So I'll come back when that's all done. Okay, so when that's all done, it will say done in green. I'll try and find a simulated one because my screen capture didn't work. So what we now need to do is open up the WOR tool, which is in this folder. Right click WOR and run as administrator. More info, run anyway. Obviously do all this at your own risk and yes. Select your language and hit next. We need to pick Raspberry Pi 2 stroke 3 for this. That's what it says in the instructions. And then plug in a storage drive. So in the working version just now I was using this SD card in a USB reader. But I'm going to use this super fast USB stick this time. So let's plug that in to your Windows PC. And now select your storage drive. Mine is this Oracle one here and hit next and you can see the addition of Windows that it's going to install, Windows 11 Pro, so let's hit next and accept and accept 
and then install. And I'll come back when that's all done. This doesn't take as long as the other bit. Okay, so it's just on the drivers, just installing the boot files now. And that's all done, so we can hit finish. And I can eject that USB stick, so that's what Windows is going to boot from. But to boot Windows, we need an SD card. There is an alternate method, but I think this is probably the easiest one. And it means you don't have to mess around with the bootloader on the Orange Pi 5. So I'm going to put this SD card into my little Melee Windows Mini PC. And I'm going to use Raspberry Pi Imager to write this image. I've got a separate video on how to install it, but it is very straightforward. So click on Raspberry Pi Imager, and yes. Choose Operating System, and use Custom. And then we need to navigate to that folder. So My Computer, Users, Lee PSP Video, it's on the desktop. And there is the folder we've been using all along, WRPi5 and select the image we downloaded earlier on. It's only eight megabytes, so it won't take very long. And open. Choose storage, so that's my two gig SD card. And hit write, and yes. Okay, it's all done, let's hit continue. And close that down. So now I've got my HDMI cable and power I've got my USB mouse and keyboard plugged in here. This is what Windows is going to run from. And then the 2 gig SD card is what it's going to boot Windows. So if I now switch on, hopefully we get a blue light. We do. So you can see rock chip. We can leave this. I don't, I don't know what to change on this. I do on a Raspberry Pi, but I'm just going to leave it because I left it before and it worked fine. And that's starting to boot Windows, hopefully. Now, they also do talk about a USB hub, which was what I was using before, and I had the boot media plugged into this. But I want to try and do it as minimalist as possible. But obviously, we've only got two spare USB sockets on an Orange Pi. Uh, there is the USB-C socket, which does work, so you could plug one other thing in there, or if you want loads of things, obviously plug in a hub like this. This takes a while because it's doing a proper install of Windows, uh, just like you used to from a CD or a USB drive on an x86 or an x64 device. And eventually I'm sure we'll have it where everything will just run from the USB drive in a more simple way. As I say, there is another guide which talks about uh, changing the bootloader, but I wanted to stay away from that because I... I've only got one Orange Pi 5 and uh, I want to try other operating systems on it on a regular basis. Yeah, it looks like it's working so far. Unfortunately, I got this error when using the USB stick. I have had this before with Windows on Raspberry Pi where some really fast storage tends to fail uh, and also the same with some SATA cables as well. So I've moved back over to the SD card in this little USB reader because it worked before so I've written a fresh copy of Windows exactly the same way as I did this one and uh, we've got past that bit and it's just sort of finishing up the install now. So we've got a lot further with the setup but my mouse keyboard isn't working so I'm going to switch USBs. There is something in the documents about some USBs not working so I'm going to try this top one first of all. Yeah so that one's not working. So I'm going to plug it into the hub. So it looks like you might need a hub. So now that's, yeah, now that's plugged in, that's fine. So maybe this USB stick might have been fine in the hub. I tried it directly in the Orange Pi 5. Obviously these things are going to be ironed out in the future. So just do this as a normal setup. So UK, don't need an extra keyboard. Now at this stage, we need to press Shift and F10 because we don't have an internet connection. And then we get this come up, and we need to type in OOBE backslash bypass NRO, and then hit enter. And it will restart again, but it will give us the option of being able to carry on without an internet connection. So you can see it wants to restart, so we'll let it restart, and it's trying to repair itself. I don't think I had this the first time I tried. A few more restarts has brought us back to this stage. This did happen before, um, but this time it shouldn't ask me for the internet. Or at least let me bypass it. And you can see I've got this option now. I don't have the internet. 
and continue with limited setup and accept the license and all this is normal stuff now do some security questions and choose your preferences and just a few more things to do and whilst it's doing that I just glanced out the window and check out how many birds are in my hedge at least they're quiet though and after all that you should be up and running with Windows 11 so you can see it's working uh, no internet and there's various other things that aren't working I'll go through that in a second I have plugged in a USB stick don't plug in a USB stick while it's running an operating system because it seems to crash. I can't remember if it's when you unplug or plug in. So uh, yeah, turn it off, plug a USB device in and then try it. I did try uh, earlier on with this USB hub as well to try and get Ethernet working with that, but uh, it was crashing the system. So I got some more playing around with that. But let's see if I can get something off that USB stick that's worth looking at. So if we go down to the folder and have a look here, yeah, 128 gigs. So it's picked up the stick. Oh, and I've only got PS2 games on there. I was sure I had something else on there. Okay, I'll put in, I've got un, I've got to shut down now to plug in a different USB stick. So let's do that. I'm going to try the WR control panel and see if that works. So this is the latest version I've got. So let's right click and run as administrator. And yes. So it's launching a little slow and it does show the RK3588S but none of this is coming up and I guess that's because it's completely different architecture to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, what does the about do? It just tells you about this. Uh, ARM64, 8 cores, it's detected, 4 gig of RAM. So 1080 video is playing but it's not the smoothest but it's nice to see it playing. Let's try a bit of Elastomania. I wonder if that installs in the normal way. I'm pretty sure this doesn't run even on Windows 10 without playing around with it. Oh, well, it's letting me install it. Yeah, the wizard's launched. So let's, well, let's see if it installs. That was nice and quick. I left that in real time. So if I press the Windows key, start typing Elastomania. It finds it. Go on, work. Oh, it's working. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've had this not working on a normal Windows PC. Right, so. P for play. Pack A. One. Okay. Oh, and it is working. A little bit slow. Uh, oh, I don't know if it is that slow actually. It's hard to tell without the audio. The, uh, the game, the style of game it is, it does run quite slow. No, it feels alright actually. It feels responsive. Yeah, that's amazing to get that playing on there. I know it's a very old game, but uh, as I say, I've, I've definitely had trouble getting it to run on other systems anyway. Nice. So let's have a look at what doesn't work. So USB 2 port, so the vertical USB port works, but that's because it's shared with the USB-C port that I'm using. Uh, CPU is limited to 800 megahertz, but it is eight core, and no PCIe, SATA, EMMC, SDIO, GMAC, Ethernet, audio, display management, GPU, etc. <laughs> so there's quite a lot that doesn't work, but great work by everybody involved. I didn't expect this to happen on these RK3588 boards, but then there are a lot about, and the Orange Pi 5, uh, is becoming very popular because of the incredible price of it. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.